Hi guys, I'm here with you today. Um, it's been a while since I last shared something, so I have a layout that I did probably a couple weeks ago now. And I have a haul that I got in, big thickers, and some other things that I want to show you. And I also got, I want to show you the special edition limited Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1 box set that I got from Amazon.co.jp. And, um... So let's get to it. I hope it's going to be a fun one and I hope you guys leave me a comment, show me some love and I'm going to catch up on my YouTube watching um, later today and get my Project Life done so I can show you that too. Okay, so the first thing I have is a layout and basically it's a Starbucks layout <laughs> and um, um, during, I think it was just at the beginning of May during Golden Week or just before Golden Week here in Japan I went to Starbucks and it was funny because I love Starbucks and I always go there whenever I can unless it's super crowded I don't go to Starbucks if there's a lineup or if it looks like there's a lot of people especially like families I like to go and relax and have coffee and I don't like to stand in line I hate to wait even if I have to go to the washroom I don't line up but anyways I went that day and it was fine and I decided I was going to treat myself with this yummy caramel chocolate tart which was so good and then I sat down as soon as I ordered I had my latte I don't usually get lattes but I had a latte that day and then sat down with my dessert my latte and I thought oh yeah I was supposed to be good I wasn't supposed to order a dessert and then I forgot that I was being good until after I think I was being so good and then I let myself um, forget about that and then anyways I just whatever so but the real um, reason behind my title can't resist can't resist my fix and then today and that's my coffee I cannot live without coffee and especially love Starbucks I don't have Starbucks every day but I have at least once a week I'd have to say and uh, we, we make our own coffee here um, fresh coffee um, when we're lazy we have instant but we usually just have fresh and now I don't like the taste of instant because we have it so much and trying to cut back like I was drinking like three to four cups a day now I've got about two cups so that feels a little bit more healthier but anyways here's my layout I'm um, showing that I had this um, when we went I can't remember where we went if it was the same Starbucks but I got this one and I was really happy because I loved the design in the coaster and I wish I had more of these but I'll have one of them but I wanted to put it on this layout and um, I used some pieces um, leftover pieces here under that and I used um, some letters and I well let me show you some stuff I'm sorry guys I'm not showing you so I had this um, piece of um, leftover packaging it's from Jelly Bean Soup craft file folders that I used on my Christmas um, album that I did. I think Stephanie got my Christmas in July album last year. I mean it was in July, sorry. And it, it has this funky um, craft graph on it. So I thought that would be fun to throw in. And I went to the store and I was looking for washi tape as I usually do. And I saw craft washi tape and I was so excited. So I had to get it and it looks like that. And so I used that craft washi tape. I used it here, here, and then I put a little piece over here. And I used um, those, I think these are recollections, the craft corner, um, the corner, what are those things called? Corner thingies, you know, the corner thingies from Michaels. And I used the craft ones because I was going for a craft. Originally I was going to do a whole craft one, but I decided I'd go with this one and then it added the brown and I used um, the SEI tumble dry in the brown color I don't think they have names on it and I really liked it at first I forgot I was going to drip it and so I sprayed it a lot um, behind and down here but then I just dripped some big splotchy spots over there so I liked how that turned out I thought I might try this and then like actually put it put a coffee cup on it and then let it like sit and let a coffee cup but I'll have to do that for a different layout. That would be a really fun idea. And I used um, 
these funky craft stars that she sent me. I really like these, Sherry. They're fun to work with. And that's where I used um, for... These are those Lily Bee Design um, ones here. And that's in the brown. And I just put my fix on top of it. And then I put three of these brads. I put one, two, three. These were just from my collection. A black one and then a brown one. And then I used um, that striped one from the Lost and Found 2. I think this is, it has 26 brads in it. I really like that craft collection from Sherry again. And my big letters came from Jelly Bean Soup Alpha Beans, um, Blanche Black. And as you can see, I've used these a lot. And then I, I put, um, I had this one from one of my um, label things. I can't remember which collection. I want to say Emma's Shop, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I put the word Happy sticker there. And that comes from my tiny type and it's at the bottom it has like memories and happy always like here so that's my Cosmo Cr Cricket so anyway it's fun to share and oh so translation um it says latte to caramel tart chocolate tarto and that means um latte and caramel chocolate tart <laughs> really easy and then I wrote it only takes a moment for me to decide I want my daily fix the only thing that keeps me from going to St Starbucks and our SB is the crowd of people with the same idea. So, and that's my fun little layout for coffee. And um, I really loved it. And I super love this. And if anybody wants me to pick up some craft with you. The only thing is it comes in a pack of two. So I can't get just the one. I have to buy it in a two pack. So you get that burgundy color too, which is not, not so bad. It does not come separately. Um, another thing, I went um, to my, when I got my gouache tape, I think I got this almost the same time. This is uh, one of those dino labors. I had the ones where you could change the wheels and they did all different things, but um, it was really impractical because you had to push super hard to get it to print. And sometimes it wouldn't do it really nicely. And this one just turns really, really easily. Like the other one that you switch the wheels, it has three different fronts on it, but it was not practical. So I, I don't want to, and I don't want to get the really big one. And I like the lowercase letters in that. So I, just, I got this one this time, and it comes with um, a black tape in there. And then I have some tape from when I, when I had it before. But I really wanted to get some clear tape because I love. I can't remember who did it. I, I think I don't know if it's um. I want to say Mercy Tara, but I'm not sure. But they did um, the clear tape on, like, coming out like rays. And I've seen lately people use the Dyna Labor to do um, the Dyna Labor to do the clear labeling. And that looks super awesome. So I'm going to try it out and do it on Project Life properly. And I went to Yuzawaya, Yuzawa, which is a craft store in Japan and I have one in right um, across my work in the mall and I picked up a couple brushes I got this thick one and this one and I don't know if they're good or not but I know I need some brushes and these are country craft they're for like what are they called toll painting is that what you say in English because I can't remember anyway so I picked up a couple, a couple of those and I said I was gonna get some paint um, in case I wanted to play with it and stuff. People are doing some fun things nowadays. So I got this um, Americana Deco Art. It's for and this is Sea Breeze and it looks really awesome like this. I don't know if you can see it better that way. And then this one I couldn't decide. They had this extreme pink one but this was or a shocking pink I think it was and this is electric pink. So it looks a little bit like orangey but it's definitely a fluorescent pink. And I got, um, I couldn't get a bright, true yellow, like a neon yellow. So I'm getting the pineapple. And so if you can see, there's my color theme coming along. And then I also got a purple, purple cow. That's a fun color name, eh? And so they all go together. And then I don't have any black. So I got the lamp ebony black. And it's like that. So those are the colors that I picked up. And then when I was there, I was looking at the the multiliners, the Copic multiliners, and I got a BS, which is kind of like um like a calligraphy marker pen, but it looks really cool. So I'm gonna try to use that. I like the thickness of it, and I found these 
fun clips. They were there for a dollar, so I got some little people. And um, they come in mixed colors. And I picked up some doggy bones for Sherry Scrap and Rappin. And then I found these um, shark ones, which I want to send to a friend in the future. I thought they would be fun. And then um, my friend's going to be getting married in the fall, so I'm going to make her a wedding album. And I found this gorgeous trim. It looks like this. It has like these rosettes and these black bees and on the lace. And okay, let me tell you, this was 780. That's 780 yen, which is probably about eight dollars. And I did not want to pay that. And I saw there was a sign that said it was like 50% off. And I was like, you know, I asked the lady, and she's like, no, this one's not for sale because it's supposed to. Be, it was like four. It was like 450 to like 680 was like 50% off. She said. And then, because mine was 780 it wasn't 50% off, and I didn't think that made any sense, because, you know, but whatever. I went up, I thought I had decided I'd get this, because it was for a friend, and for her wedding, and I thought this would go really nicely. I'll show you the paper I got later. And I got up to the till, and she rang this up, and do you know how much it was? One dollar. One dollar for all this. So I thought that was a super awesome deal. One dollar. So, if anybody is interested on it, I can see if I can pick you up some too. And I'm thinking of going back and seeing um, what other stuff I can get for one dollar. Or 100 yen, I should say. So, anyways, that was fun. And, um, let's see. Um, I want to go to my Thickers haul now. And I'll show you my Breaking Dawn last. So, I'll put it right here. Um, so, I made my first order from two peas in a bucket. And... I was just looking on there and I I don't know what some got a, got into me and I had to order from them and I I don't know it's expensive too expensive for shipping but anyways I made my first order from there and I'm really happy when it came in I was really happy and it only came it took a few days so that was good but I had to get this washi tape we cannot buy this kind of washi tape in Japan for all those people you there in America the US we um we don't make clouds and hearts and chevrons. We do make striped ones, but we don't make airmail. I don't know where. They must make them just for you guys over there. I don't know. Or people are saying it's Japanese wash tape and it's not. Or I, I, don't, I have no idea. But anyways, I had to get this one just for fun. And um, let's see. I'm going to get to the to the thickers. I saw Sherry's video. And she got a huge swap from I want to say what's that I think it was TR West KD right so Tiffany I think Tiffany sent her it I'm I think so anyways but anyways this is how many I have I have three stickers to be honest I have the jewelry box which I super love the style I have these which I was going to use with Twilight. They're like foil red and they're called tinsel. I super love these. And then I have the Rupert one which I think Sherry has in a different color and black. I like these too but they're really really big. But that's fun. But I haven't really used them very much. But anyways so those are all the stickers that I own. Nicole always uses stickers and Sherry uses stickers. Tiffany loves stickers. Bethany loves stickers. I think everybody loves stickers. So, I had to get on Thickers bandwagon and I went overboard, guys. So, don't be surprised. Look. Oh, I know. Look at how crazy I went. Okay. I got these pantry ones, which are like glittery black. This is all new to me, so, you know, maybe not new to you. I got the boardwalk ones in black. And I got these. I got these new ones, the shoreline ones. So I got them in the blue. They're like glitter. The yellow. And then I also got this orange, which is honeycomb, I think. It's, isn't it? They're fireberry. No, the fo this is fireberry. This is honeycomb. And then these ones are cascade. So really fun, fun colors for summer. And I got these, which are the fabric colors. And they have like stripes on them. Probably you can't see. And they're called Rockabye. And they'd be really nice um, sprayed as well. So I, I had to get those. And I got the natural ones. They're sunrise, 
Sunrise Natural chipboard letters and you can ink those or use your magical micos on them. This looks um, similar to the Boardwalk one but it's thicker and um, it's not white, it's cream. So I like these. This is the metal one and it has these really funky stars on there too. And then um, I got an in, oh sorry, this is not metal. What? This one, well it's the metal one. I don't know what they're called in. This says metal too, but I'm not sure what the color is. They're orange, but that's really fun. And um, I got the houndstooth ones, and they're really funky. I thought they'd be nice to ink the edges of it too. These I super love by Amy Tangerine. Oh my gosh, big fan. And then I had to get the goodness ones. So these are the goodness in the black, and it's like um, this crossed thing on it. So that's cool. And and these ones here are also they're kind of looks like natural, but they have white. Um, crosses on it too and then they, they're also the goodness collection so you can spray those if you want probably and these are the maple collections and they're foam and they're super skinny I thought these were called varsity but I'm not I, I was mistaken I don't know but I really like um, how skinny they are you could put a lot on there and then I had to get the dear Lizzie ones and the just because I love the turquoise they're a little bit smaller than I expected but still fun so that is my collection of thickers. So guys, um, yeah, I'm a thickers girl now. And it's all this doing this project life and doing layouts and stuff. And also I told you, I told Nicole that I didn't have very many mini markets. So I had to jump on the bandwagon and get me some mini markets and some letter stickers. And Doing Project Life, I've decided to be more organized and I went through all my stash and I pulled out everything, all the labels and I organized all my um, my 12 by 12 and all my sticker sheets and label sheets so that I could find them and pull them out for Project Life or for layouts and I am so much more organized than I used to be and I'm really, really proud of myself and happy. And I found that I did in fact have one mini market which is the red and cream. So that was exciting for me. But And I have a lot of um, basic grey, um, the micro letter ones. And I, I super love those too. So these, are, these ones are just really, really easy to stick on and I love the rectangular shape. So I got, these aren't mini market ones but they're the Dear Lizzie ones. And um, I like these teal color. I don't know what those are called. And then these ones are like this, the uh, Scrabble tile letters. And they're super cool with the numbers next to it. So that would be fun for a layout. And then I've got the pink and black, the green and cream, the teal and black, which I really love. And then I like the mint and cream too. And then I got the orange and cream, the cream and denim and then the teal and cream so very excited about my first collection of letters and I got a couple stamps I got the Amy Tangerine stamp set I guess that's what it's called I love this little box I thought that'd be good for a pro um, project life and I like this snapshot with the mini Polaroid it's so cute and I've been seeing this kind of stamping lately and I like the best and then oh how lovely so and that's cute that matches the sketchbook too but really really exciting and I got the shoreline um, I think American craft stamp Roxy so if you see that's how big it is um, so it's not too big they're actually pretty small it's about as big as my thumb I have a big thumb though but Anyways, that's how big they are, and you can layer them, or use them separately, and then color them in, or anything you like. I just thought that would be really, that's a nice um, letter, and I like the idea. I'm going to have to get in the big, the bigger size ones to do from here onwards. And then I got the little black dress in the 6x6, six six. so you guys probably seen this, so I don't really want to go through it a whole bunch. That is what I'm going to use for my friend's wedding. Anyways. I decided on that and then I got the Napolitan collection and I did not know that they had strawberries oh my gosh you guys know I love it oh and look at those journal cards you've and I thought this would be fun to just cut out a couple jars and put them there I love the, all the polka dots and I'm really into grid really really into grid 
and I like this pink grid here too. That's cute. I know you've seen it, but I love the strawberries. And then this one, um, I love that chevron. Okay, so I'm really excited about that. And the ice cream. So that was my first. D -d -d don't have any of that paper yet. And then I got the Cakewalk Doodads, which I basically got because um, I saw Cher used that tape in her layout, and I really like that tape cassette too. So I got a couple of the Jelly Bean Soup um, labels. The um, this one is so sweet. I love mustaches. Mustaches. This is funny sayings. Keep calm or ask mom. Happy life, happy wife. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Maybe it'll come in ha handy. And then this one here, it's the little thing, little things. So, so happy for this day. It's the little things. Just having fun. So there's no, some nice ones to go on there. And then here are the word stickers. Just a minute, guys. Got to open the window because it's getting hot. My neighbor was doing something outside, but I think she's finished now. So these are the cute ones that I got here. And I got the farmhouse one. I really like the farmhouse collection and try to be good and not get so much paper. So I didn't get paper. But I don't have the farmhouse collection, but that's okay. I actually ordered um, two more things from them, so I should get that paper. <laughs> so I got the, um, the border stickers and I got the phrase stickers as well. I really like these phrase, sti phrase stickers. So yeah, I like that delightful, homegrown. And then the random collection had some really fun ones. And then the random um, phrase stickers as well. The only thing I don't like about crepe paper is one is they're kind of glossy, which is mm, not my favorite. I like the October afternoon ones. And um, I don't know if they're all like that, but these ones are glossy and I don't like that so much and I got the paper heart collection and it has look like, this ticket strip too which I know I have a die of but and this one's really cute look at it. it has like it has um a tape measure and then it has a love meter on it measure your love and this is the storyteller the storyteller one has really nice the air mail strip and then it has like the a b c d f g h so that's nice and then this is the storyteller um, phrase stickers as well. So there's some family portrait and Chapman office supply with the typewriter. That's neat. Brand new. Hello, me. So that'll be good for Project Life, right? Some of those things. Contacts. And I got the little Bo Peep one, which has some kind of baby ones. It has this baby growth chart in inches, which is really nice someone is pregnant I will do them a mini album so I don't mind to stack up on that kind of stuff hopefully someday I'll have the opportunity to use it for me but who knows baby photo special so and I like the teal ones here too okay and then um, I got the um, 12 by 12 little black dress collection by basic gray and it comes with all of these cool die cuts stickers and then it has all of the letters too which will go in my letter letter um section which has all my things so i have a couple more things to show from two piece but i'll go quickly i got this sidewalk schoolroom letters and they're like cream and they have like red white red writing on them i got the sarsaparilla deck deck decal decal and it, it's like um this is like denim and this is like um, wood grain. So that's really cool. I like I like the colors together too. And then I also got the campfire in the wood grain. That's by October afternoon as well. And the seaside, which is like, it's this um, gradation of blues and then it has a teal on the outside. This is my ultimate favorite. Look at these letters. They're so awesome. This is the PB&J stickers by Basic Gray. And it has like this this canvas, like a like um an art canvas, and then it has red and white striped and then this faux stitching on the letters. I love that. Oh my gosh, it's so great. Okay, and I got the little bow peep letters and it comes with, you know, the phrases in the corner. And I like the 
squares on the side too. And the boarding pass um, shape stickers. I liked all the travel ones and the trans yeah the transportation ones and then the film strips and the labels were really cute. And then I also got the pretty party paper by Crate Paper. And this has um, this cream. You can't even see any of the letters. It's this cream um, wood grain. But the letters are super skinny. Which um, I hope will be easy to use. But they look really skinny. And look at these. Best day ever. Special day. Good times. Happy. Some really fun um, labels there. And then I have a few 12 by 12. I want to um, do some more layouts lately. So let's use our, our stuff guys. And I don't have much paper and 12 by 12. Um, I, I don't really have any real colorful paper I decided other than you know the case the restaurant. And that was that's not really good. I don't have any simple paper I should say. And I really need some plain stuff so I went and got anyways some stuff to start with. I love this um, raspberry jam by PB and J. Here's the bag. There's this number one here. And this is um, October Afternoon um, gift wrap. I like this one actually more than the number one on the back, but it's really fun. It's like a teal and red. And then um, I thought this would be nice just because um, it has like maple leaves on it and it kind of looks like similar to a Japanese maple leaf. And then there's the back. I got two of those. And then this is the Neapolitan Bean Bisque. And it has um, hearts, really tiny hearts on a light blue background and then this is the dried rosemary leaves one and has like these number key things which is super cool but I love the teal on the back as well and then this is the jelly bean soup again the basil pestle and it has this really cool green pattern and then this is what I really love though is kind of that that um, hand-drawn graph then this is the frozen spinach and I should have got like all this paper because I really liked it but this is cream and then the crossed red so I thought that would be really nice for like picnic kind of stuff and this is butter beans and it has all these little telephones on it and then look at the um, fish fish tail stuff fish bone what's that herring I don't know you help me out guys and it's super cool and then I got some regular classic cal calico in the graph paper, which is like this. I got three of these, and then it has like plain on the back. It's like triangles actually on the back. And then this one is like a bigger circle one, and it has like this cross lined. And then I love this paper. And I got one of them. I thought I got two. I only got one, but I love it. I thought that would be really fun for our background. And this one is Pseudocalico. Um, it's the Abroad Collection and Locals Habitants. Local. And it has, then look at the little heart in between them. Isn't that cute? And then there's like the villages and stuff. So that is my super big haul. And I thought it was a good price. A lot of the stuff was like, I don't know, the, I think their paper and all the label stickers are really cheap. I didn't really get the thickers on sale because I don't have an option. You guys, if you know where to get that kind of stuff at a good price um, that is available in Japan or you see something, let me know. Fill me in so I can be part of the loop. <laughs> and um, last one before I go, I want to share with you um, my Amazon.co one. And I ordered this um, limited edition box set, which I usually get. It looks like this, and I left it in the packaging so I can show it to you. It's a premium box, and there's only limited 10,000. <laughs> so this was, I, I, I reserved this a long time in advance. So it was 4,500 yen, which was about 45 to $50, which I don't care. But um, because a regular DVD on, on sale is like, what, 40 bucks anyways? So I just got this one because it has all the gays and has all the special features. It says, look, it says 225 minutes of special features on their video. So that's cool. So here's the box. It looks like this and that's the wedding scene. And I super love it. It has rhinestones on it and everything. 
and I have this for, I don't have for Twilight because I didn't know about Twilight when it first came out, but I have it for um, Eclipse and um, New Moon. So when you open it, and it comes with some gifts, so it comes with um, negatives of the wedding scene with Edward, and oh my gosh, I love that. It comes with all of these um, cool poster things, and you can gives you a little um, display box too. I'll just open it so I can show you guys. in here and oh those are special pictures actually this one so that's cool the wedding ah there's some really cool pictures so I'm so excited about that I'm gonna I'm not gonna take it all out for you guys but and then here is the DVD and then it comes with like three DVDs so that's cool and then there of course is Bella Edward and Jacob and it looks so sparkly and cool and my other, as my other ones are all like that too and then this is like this is like a special mirror in here too so that's what I got to treat myself anyways that is my big haul and share and layout and it was so much fun to share with you so I'm gonna put all my stuff away now that I've shown you I'm gonna get to work on my project life and share that with you as soon as I get um, June finished up Okay? Alright, take care. Bye!